Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone had a lovely Halloween, Day of the Dead. Uh, there were some other festivals I know people had. I hope everyone had a nice time. I hope everyone got lots of treats and no tricks for Halloween. So, what I have for you today, I have finally finished and launched my most recent webinar. This is a very good one. This is one that is going to help quite a few people. If you haven't gotten one of my webinars, please try one. They're very helpful. I get a lot of good feedback from them. And for a lot of people, you feel like you're treading water. You're feeling a void here. There really is no void. So I wanna, I'm just going to briefly talk about the month of November. My webinar is called Divine Lovers. It is the November for Lovers webinar. And I'm calling it that because this is a time period for you to reconnect into being the cosmic lovers that you really intend to be. Not just physical lovers, lovers on other levels, on every level possible. Some of you are willing to just settle for having, you know, one little thing with your twin. But that is not really your divine plan. Your divine plan is to have everything with each other. And yes, there are couples together and they are working through things. And for those of you who are, I applaud you, you are doing excellently. It's important that you continue to do so. My webinar has several exercises in it to assist you with that. I want to uh, point out something to a lot of you. And I was reminded of this very recently. Some, some of it with world events. Some of it's things that have happened all along the lines. And it is about broken promises. What about the broken promises? How do we heal from the hurts and the pain? The hurt feelings because you are expanding your body your light body is expanding into a level where it's really hard to contain the level of emotionality in these teeny tiny carbon based bodies you're going to be in a level where all of the nuances of being able to feel and discern the biggest key is discernment Many times what I get asked during a session with a client is, what is my twin flame thinking? And you're leaving that realm. We actually covered a lot of that back in September, right before the Mercury retrograde. And I, I did my best to tell a lot of people, focus on your union, focus on your twin, let everything else of the world go. Get out of the mental body. Some people chose to stay in it. And other people went full steam ahead away from the collective. And that's what you were supposed to do. We've been through quite a bit of intensity. Everything's gotten so intense. And now you're treading water. You're really treading water, a lot of you. And you don't know what's going on, some of you. And there are things that are going on. So, in addition to the broken promises, which is a divine level of healing, this is going to be things that are between you and your twin. But it can also be things uh, such as, for example, broken treaties. The men have broken promises with each other in war situations. Here in my country, in other countries, promises have been broken. We are going to a divine level of healing this. The cosmic grid is complete. And that is the truth. That's a lot of the intensity, the flurry of activity, your sense of urgency that has been from behind the scenes that perhaps you couldn't put your finger on it. That is your higher selves completing the cosmic level grid. It's important for you to receive and be open to receive. 
and some of you have been continuing to do that from the retrograde on divesting yourselves getting out of situations resolving things want to remind you that you are not lost you are waiting you are waiting for a pretty big event here and I know what some people say they say I keep hearing this and hearing this well if you're not feeling it that's not on any of us because I don't know if what you're doing is what you should be doing or can be doing there are people who are doing everything that they possibly can and are still waiting and yet the key difference is if you have a sense of calmness and that you are doing your best to remain calm every single day this grid the cosmic level grid is open to those people who connect themselves and pull their twin and a lot of people say or ask during the sessions when is my twin flame going to get it uh, the best thing I can tell you is please don't send your twin videos and articles uh, only one of you needs to get do that only that is being redundant when we get out of this level of living there is an efficiency how do they get it by osmosis through your heart that's how that is the how now how do you get it into your own heart how do you get your own heart clear so that you can send things back and forth to them buy my webinar and find out I've covered it several times starting from back in last October all through the year there's a lot of good information if you have trouble resolving your karma get my January webinar if you have things going on with your body inflammations illnesses if you are still clearing your lineage sickness whether it's the residue of heart disease cancer that runs in the family alcoholism addiction problems mental illness try my May and June webinars if you have been struggling over the past month with incoming energies incoming incoming energies or those energies where it feels like you've got a rod through your ankle and you're just bolted to the floor and you don't know how to move your energies get my September webinar I talk in great detail and I have several beneficial exercises to help you move your own energies this is past the point where a lot of you are laying and going whoa incoming everything's just being bumps in the night I have no idea what's going on some of you have had an idea of what's going on for quite some time and it's time for action some people are newly awakened and if this is new to you if you're just finding out about this again I will say to you welcome thank you hang in here it will get better some of you will have an easier time although you may have some intensity you won't have 10 or 20 years of things you won't have to unlearn some things that other people may have picked up and you still have to pull your twin you still have to pull them how do you do that get my webinar and find out because it is through several steps there's several things components that happen to pulling your twin how do you pull them how do you pull them towards you how do you do it what do you do if you're in other countries in other cities in other households what if you do if they're in a marriage somewhere what do you do if they keep engaging in things that you're thinking shouldn't be they be past that point do they need to still go get drunk do they still need to go get high do they still need to be with that person did they need to re-engage that thing and you might want to take your twin and go shake them until their teeth rattle that's not the way if you're feeling angry anger is normal for parts of this process the good news is you're not going to be able to hold that anger you've already elevated where it's not going to fester into a resentment or a cancer and for some of you 
Some of you may still get sick if you're engaging in karma. How do you get rid of the karma? How do you get out of the karmic patterns, the karmic template? I can tell you this. As a Blu-ray, we've dismantled it. We've left it. We have. We've been taking it apart little by little. It's dissolving. It's dissolving and it's evaporating off of people. Some people can feel it. It's that shaky feeling. It's like taking a part of you and putting it in a jewelry cleaner, something ultrasonic that's just vibrating it away from you. Or those tablets you drop in a, a glass of water to fizz something off. You can feel it. You can. A couple of the events coming up here. The new moon on the 11th. The 11-11 has always been called the gate for lovers, another gate for lovers. This is um, the 11 gate. It's a gate of uh, opening this year, not necessarily a gate of completion. For a lot of you who may have had this as a significant date for your union, you're bringing some of the things from two years ago, one year ago, five years ago, ten years ago, you're bringing it full circle during this time frame. It's also a new moon. This is the black, velvety, the, the loamy soil, the beautiful black velvet creative part of you where you're emerging. Some of you have emerged and you've got raw baby skin. You don't know what to do. You're feeling the sensitivity of it. And what I do help people with is how do you hold your high energies to where things don't quite affect you? Some of you say, oh, I'm too empathic. How do you stop being so empathic or be empathic in the right environment, in the right situation? How do you stop feeling everybody else and feel your twin? It's in my webinar. It will happen for you. It takes practice. It takes persistence. It really does. And coming up on the 25th, that's when the full moon is. That's going to be a time, a very happy time for a lot of people. Because the uh, Blu-ray homecomings, comings, the energetic homecomings that a lot of you have been experiencing, this is where it's going to start to take off in the physical. So get yourself ready. My webinars in, are intended for preparation. They're always here to help you. I myself am available for readings, for sessions. I help people clear some of their subtle bodies. I help them move their energies. I am a person that believes in true personal empowerment because when you go on, okay, when you go on, you are going on to living again. Okay, for a lot of you, you're in some semblance of living. This is not really living. And some of you are afraid of not really living. And when you are alive, you know the difference. When you feel your love and your higher energies, you do know the difference. Now, my webinar will be available on, at the link below and on my website, which is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And I thank you to everyone who has bought my webinars. Thank you for the feedback you've given me. Thank you for all of the sessions because the information that I pack in here, this is usually the culmination of weeks of work and discernment from my higher self to make things very concise, precise, and really cut to the chase. I want to make this easy for people to feel empowered and to feel again. There's no point to all of this unless you're together with your twin and really together the way that you want to be. You didn't come here to be dropped on your butt. I'm going to say it for the sake of this. You're not crazy. The things that you're feeling and imagining, and if your twin is talking out of two sides of their mouth, you pay attention to the heart. If you do not know how, I have exercises in here and in my previous webinars to find out how do you really feel them. That's what you want to do. That is the direction you're going in. And all of us feel. Men feel. Men have emotions. Men have had to stuff it down. 
Women feel, women have emotions, they've had to stuff it down. Everybody's stuff is coming out. A lot of people are working on their childhood stuff. That retrograde brought up a lot of childhood abuse, getting picked on, bullied, um, parental discipline, neglect, malnourishment, misunderstandings, uh, religious distortion, all kinds of things. All kinds of things that your parents made decisions or made bad decisions or somehow did something that affected you. And it it's coming up to the surface so it can get out. And... You're intended to be different. Don't be afraid of the past. The past is being collapsed the way it should be. And you're having a brand new life going forward. You truly are the divine lovers. And the key word being lovers. And I'm going to say it right here. Well, it's up to you to go ahead with your own personal divine plan of believing that your twin is intended to be with you in this life. All right? And there's a thing to know. You're in the space of it now. You're in quantum time. You're not in linear time where someone's going to say, well, you'll have this one and that one and that person while they're out. Decide that it's a new life. Decide to get new. Decide to work on it. Decide to get everything going that you need to. Make a decision because when you make a decision, that's how you jump forward. Okay? Quantum time means that you're creating it as you go. You're creating it by believing it. Believing that you set it up this way that you were born to be together. The expectation and intention is that, yes, you are together and you live together. If you're going to talk your own self out of it or let someone else put any doubt in your head, I'm going to tell you right now, mental body. Mental body, get rid of it. Get back in your heart. You don't know how. Buy my webinar because that's all I talk about is being in your heart and how to do it. How do you gear up your metaphysical part how do you get your light body ready so that everything's effortless and easy even if you are together and people who are together sometimes reach out and they will say we're struggling with this we're struggling with that and i help with discernment we talk about it but it comes through from their higher self it comes through from the union and the union is here right at the lowest common denominator. Okay, so enough of this soapbox. I hope everyone is doing well. Please hang in here. This is going to be a really lovely November. As you know, people are going in waves, and there will be subsequent waves, even if some of this doesn't make sense to you that I'm talking about. Okay, it doesn't make sense to you for now, but it may makes sense to you later on. So thanks so much for watching. The link is below. I hope that you buy my webinar. Thank you to everyone who has or may buy it. Thank you. Bye now.